everyone, I'm Chris T. Ian, the host of The Captivating Christian, and today we have a very serious in-depth political video because I, I just know that you're probably not sick of political videos popping up in your feed. Chris! What is it, Ariel, this time played by Steve? Chris, I told you you're not making videos about political subjects anymore, all right? You're making videos about Christian media, like Christian movies and TV shows, and right now you're supposed to be doing a video talking about Christian memes. But come on, everyone else is doing political videos, why can't I? Chris, how many times do I have to tell you? Political videos suck! Besides, if you're not gonna do this, I'm gonna make you watch something like another Plan B and do a review of that. And I don't think you want to watch another Plan B, now do you? No, 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 uh, no, I, I, I don't want to sit through another Plan B. Okay, I'll do it. Very good. Do as you're told, Chris. Very good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Captivating Christian. I'm your host, Chris T. Ian. And today we're going to be looking at um, Christian May Mays. Now, I know I said at the end of the last video it would be featured on a website called uh, Read It. But uh, I was actually wrong. Most of these are off of uh, another another great source of getting memes, and it's definitely not a, a website that's only used by uh, baby boomers. Uh, Facebook. I don't know what everyone's talking about. I, I still use Facebook. It's like one of the few internet sources that I think you can get really useful and relevant information from. Anyway, enough of the intro. Let's actually look at uh, some of these memes, shall we? This is a picture taken from the official VeggieTales Facebook page. And uh, I'm just glad with the crowd reaction at the bottom that people are clearly above the age of just a young child to get into VeggieTales. I think that's absolutely great. Um, th there's no way this is definitely a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, f -f photo, photoshop? There's no way that's what this is. Uh, that's genuinely the crowd reaction. Uh, and I, I think it's great. I really do. It's great to see people of, you know, a bunch of older ages finally coming into their own and enjoying VeggieTales like the young adults should be. Also, is it just me? Or does that man right there in the corner remind anyone of one Matthew Watson from Super Mega? Esso's back. Back again. JC's back. Say amen. I have to make that, so, someone's gonna have to make that a, a parody song at some point. I, I don't know who, somebody's gonna have to do it though. So then I was all like, mom, chill out. I'll be back in like three days tops. Oh, I get it because Jesus came back and was resurrected after three days. And it's like how a teenager would talk to their, their parent. Explaining the joke makes it twice as better, right? Okay. Father, forgive me, for I have synth, and it's a nun at a synthesizer machine. Ha! Ah, oh, puns and Catholic nun humor. I, I know somewhere Shannon from Shannon Reviews and Kathy O'Lick are having a good laugh over this one. Hey Jonah, we made this for you to put on the back of your car, and it's a uh, uh, Jesus fish. Oh, I get it. It's because Jonah was the one swallowed by the whale, and then God got him out of the whale to preach his word in Nineveh. I get it. I get it, and, G and the Jesus fish is what you put on the back of your car. I, that's that's actually a pretty good meme, not gonna lie. I won't lie, that is definitely a good meme. Father, forgive them, for I literally can't even. Oh, it's 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 like it's like how girls over at Starbucks talk. I I, I, I get that one. I get that one. Pastor, because hardcore devil stomping ninja isn't an official job title. Oh, well I don't know about you, but I think. That's, that's, I want a pastor who would wear that t-shirt. I really do. I, I, I'm not really sure about the, um, the hat. Uh, that, that looks kind of like a, um, looks like a bit of a thing that a hipster would wear, but I, I definitely like the shirt and I definitely like the, the battle ready stance that this man is showing. I, I would definitely love a pastor who would wear a shirt like that. I mean, that's, that's too awesome for words. That's, that's pretty epic. <laughs> Filet's customer service. Popeye's customer service. Oh, are we gonna get into the whole thing about Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A again? I, I, I really, we already did a video on that if you wanna see that. Um, I, I'm just, I just included this one because it said Chick-fil-A and it's a Christian thing. So I was like, okay, I'll include it. Yeah, on the second channel, we already did a video about uh, Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A. So you can just go check that out. And then Jesus said, no, Becky, I won't turn the water into Starbucks. Now, this is a good meme but I'm not sure what makes it better. The caption or the fact that it's an actually old picture. Like it's not some photo of someone dressed up as Jesus with some modern woman holding a Starbucks cup, but rather they took some old painting and put the text over it. 
I'm not sure what makes it funnier. But like I said, with the last few, it's a good meme. It's a good meme. Eleven. Eleven times you swore to me. No more street truck tacos. Well, I mean, y y you said to the Lord that you weren't going to get any more street truck tacos. And, um, look, look what happened. The baptisms at this place must be wild. And, oh, it's a church next to a water park. Oh. I would love to go to that church. That would be so cool. Could you imagine after Sunday morning, you and your friends then get to go and hang out at the water park? Oh, and the baptisms there must be really wild. I mean, it certainly beats baptizing people with sodas like Fanta and Coca-Cola, which is a thing people were doing for a while, apparently. Jehovah's Witness make them earn it. Okay, I just saw what they were talking about. Okay, that's... That's great. Um, I didn't need to see that, but uh, th thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to have to censor that. Now, somebody spray painted the name Dave onto a building, and then they put, Jesus, no name is higher. Now, while I agree with that, I feel like it probably would have been more appropriate if they wrote the name Jesus over the name Dave, or if they were just somehow able to get the person's name Dave off the building in general. He in heaven. D word. This place is nice as H E double hockey stick. Angels. As what? Well, that's technically true. In heaven, you probably shouldn't be using a lot of bad language. I mean, haven't these people heard my song, You Shouldn't Say the Curse Words, now available on the MC Swigga Out by the Pool album? You shouldn't say the curse words. It isn't very Christian. Please think of the children. Social distancing baptistry. I don't get it. Uh, a pastor going to baptize a baby with a, a mini super soaker. Okay, I will admit, that's actually pretty cute. It's cute because it's a little child, and, and, and instantly little children make things ten times funnier. Little children and old people. I mean, that's, I mean, that's basically how unfunny, untalented comedians like Jimmy Kimmel made a living by making jokes involving little children and the elderly. You want to do the thing where the Lion King lifts the kid up in the air? That's an unfunny political joke. It's not too late to make a political video, Steve! The government has called on retired nuns to help enforce social distancing. Whatever your thoughts on this thing are, because I have a very, very strong beliefs on them anyway, um, but even with all that said, if you saw a bunch of this coming out in a dark alleyway at night, would you not be scared? They just challenged Jesus to a fight. Jesus, six, parking lot. Well, that's on them, because you're supposed to put that, the six, after some kind of quote. Or put a quote, and then put Jesus' name, and then what scripture it's from, and then the number six. And parking lot, I don't even know why that's on there. The, the, this song is all kinds of wrong. That sign is not right. Public schools. Boys are not allowed to have long hair. Jesus. Well... It was different because Jesus is the Lord and Savior, and he actually looks good with long hair, so, you know. This is just a picture of Jesus leaning in and telling people no. I want to use this for so many different things. I want to use this whenever I'm having a discussion with people and I disagree with them, I'm just going to use this image, and I think that's the perfect way to just, just end the discussion right then and there. This is a picture of the crucifixions, and then there's a picture of a man in the corner that's supposed to be Judas. And uh, there's a picture of this fellow who looks like uh, Jonathan Tronathan, and uh, it says Judas. Make it. Gnostics be like, maybe. <laughs> Ramsey's watching you complain about just one plague, Nile Magazine, and it's a picture of Ramsey is looking stern. Oh, isn't that just the perfect meme to describe 2020? <laughs> <laughs> Getting over allergies, oh my god. Now, this is a series of tweets on a tweeter that, uh, someone started with this. Tweet like someone in the Bible. Moses to Pharaoh, Jehovah says let my people go. Pharaoh, no. Paul watching the Israelites praise David after he killed Goliath. God. Cain, where is your brother? Cain, I'm not my brother's guardian. God, looking very stern. Yeah, yeah. 
spotted. Go back to the mountain and bring back new tablets. Moses. Moses, when he came down from the mountain. The same picture of a gentleman with his hands on his hips. And then this person responds, the Israelites worshiping another god. Lila on her IG story when she bowed to destroy the most powerful homeboy in the hood. I'm confused. Why does this Renaissance painting have a woman with a phone that wouldn't have existed back when they made it? That, that's clearly not a, uh, a photoshop, as they call it. God, after Noah and his family made it to the Ark. His wife, hearing him explain why he hasn't been home in three days, because he was swallowed by a fish. And Joseph, I had a dream. His brothers putting on headphones. 5,000 trying to calculate how Jesus fed them. And it's like the rest of these, it's a good meme, it's a good meme. Very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Lila, I gave you a cut while you were sleeping. Do you like it? Samson. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching my Christian May May review. Uh, just a little something different for uh, the show to give some variety. Uh, as for what we're gonna be doing next, uh, we're gonna be going back to looking at Christian media, like movies and TV shows and stuff like that. This was just a little change of pace for something different. Uh, but until next time, guys, I'm the Captivated Christian, and may Jesus be with you.